how will trade work after Brexit? Will we be richer or poorer? Why haven't we left yet? Will it definitely happen? Where's the Brexit journey leading? The Leavers' slogan was about taking back control, so the promise is a return trip to the way things used to be, a more British way. But from here, Britain's post-Brexit journey could take any number of directions. There's the unique bespoke trade deal that Theresa May wants, or a free trade agreement, maybe like the deal the EU has with Canada, or talks could end with no deal at all. And the truth is, the Prime Minister can't know where we'll end up. Her plan for a common rulebook for trade in goods and a free market in services goes against the EU system of a single market, and Brussels is saying no. It's too close to the EU for Tory Brexiteers like Boris Johnson, who quit the cabinet right after David Davis, and others could go too. For former Tory Remainers, they'd like a closer relationship with the EU. The fact is, there's no majority in Parliament for any outcome. Just now, no one's sure where the country will be or where we'll be heading when the UK ends the EU journey that started when Britain joined in 1973. It's maybe likely the Prime Minister's own future depends on reaching some destination, on the country stepping off the EU train on schedule, as she pledged on March 29th next year. Could Britain somehow walk away from the EU and put off the really big decisions about the future till after Brexit Day, kick the can down the road again? Something that's possible. And Britain's long Brexit journey faces another big obstacle. Thank you. Thank you very much. On the island of Ireland, all sides are committed to avoiding a hard Irish border when the UK leaves. There's no agreement on how to do that. And there's no clear way to fudge that question just to keep Brexit moving. In the end, there'll be more big decisions to take at Westminster by our politicians. The PM needs to win a vote here on any deal, if there is one, in October or likely later. Lose it and anything could happen. Mrs May might have to go, so an immediate Tory battle for number 10. Supporters of an EU referendum are hoping deadlock could lead to what they're calling a people's vote and Mrs May and Brexiteers say would be a betrayal of democracy. The Labour leader's not convinced it could ignite fury among Brexit supporters. And as for reversing Brexit, the cries of betrayal would be deafening. But some MPs on both sides are hoping for even that. This row has the capacity to split the Tory party and Labour too. And who knows, deadlock and crisis could conceivably lead to an early general election. Brexit's the biggest question facing Britain since World War II. If no clear way through is found, it might just end where it started, with the people. John Pienaar, BBC News, Westminster.